my name is Jake Bowers. I'm a creative media lecturer here at All Campus where I teach a two year course, an extended diploma in creative media production. So it's a two year course, um, which is the equivalent of about three A levels, well exactly of, of three A, A levels, which will get you into a good university course, but it's very practical. It's like a BTEC, for those of you that have heard BTECs, but we've gone over to another examination board called the University of the Arts London. Um, and what it is, is we, it's very, very practical. It's very project based. Um, so we do things like we, we produce adverts, we produce music videos, we produce promotional videos, we produce podcasts. Um, we also look a lot into kind of games design. There's a unit specifically on games design. Um, and at the end of the first year, it ends up in a final major project where you choose the direction that you want to pursue to show off your talents. Maybe you want to make a kind of a drama or maybe you want to make a documentary. Um, so it's a, it's a great course. Lots of people come every year and it's really practical, really hands-on. It can lead to kind of a uh, greater study in, say, filmmaking um, or game design and development. Or it can lead to work uh, directly into the creative uh, industries. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a two-year course, which lots of people love. Students that I've taught in the past have gone on now to, to study at places like Ravensbourne, which is a very good media university in London, and Falmouth and the National Film and Television School. Some people have gone on to work directly in uh, industry. Um, one guy went and worked at uh, Frame Store, which is a big post-production house in London. So the kind of equipment that you need for the course is, uh, the main thing is a hugely imaginative brain, which hopefully you've got uh, in your head. Equipment, well, we've got a whole load of um, PCs here, which are, are equipped with the Adobe Creative Suite, so you can use those. What would be ideal is if you also had a laptop, which you had um, editing software in, but also the best bit of equipment you've probably already got, which is a smartphone in your pocket, which already has the ability to film in really high resolution. So that, pens, paper, but really it's imagination. If you come with imagination, we can fill in all the other gaps. So there is work experience, uh, which ranges from working for a kind of external clients. In the last couple of years, we've had people work for um, Energize Sussex, made a promotional film about putting up um, solar panels on a lot of the schools um, in and around Sussex. Um, we've had people working all over the place. Um, I, I give people, people who are distinction level, hard working students, I give them uh, work experience and productions that I work on for my own media production company. So yes, there is work experience. Uh, we usually go on trips to all kinds of, of different places. I try and get people to be kind of journalists and filmmakers in the real world. So one of the trips that we did uh, a year or so ago is we went up and we went and grilled a cabinet minister um, in Parliament. Um, another one that we did, um, it's also political, is, is we did a, um, a hustings event where, where different politicians all vying for your vote to be the MP for Hastings um, had a hustings down at Hastings College. But I've taken people up to film studios, I've taken them on music video shoots, I've done all kinds of stuff like that over the years. It's really easy to get here. Uh, there is a massive car park out, outside the front of Or Valley Campus. There is also a train station which is about three minutes walk away and there are regular buses. So public transport by foot or by car or bike, you can get here. So my previous experience is I've worked for over 20 years as a journalist and as a filmmaker. I started working in local newspapers, then I went and worked for the BBC, I've worked for The Guardian, I've worked for magazines like The Big Issue, I've worked in television uh, production companies, even whilst I carry on teaching, I'm still working in the television industry. So last year I worked on the three-part series for Channel 4, um, which was run through Fremantle, which is the same organisation that does Britain's Got Talent um, and lots of big shows like that. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please do get in touch if you've got any questions and I look forward to seeing you soon here and all.